Hallo zusammen. This is kind of a special video for me because I have never done this before, but I thought it would be a fun little thing to do because I know that many of you guys are into Rammstein as much as I am and they've just released their eighth album Zeit. Time. So I thought, you know, instead of me listening to it on my own, which I usually do, of course, let's do it together. Let's listen to the album together. Let's have a little full album reaction slash listening party going on here. If you have already listened to the album, that is no problem at all, of course, because you can still follow along. And uh, yeah, let's get into it, I'd say. Before we're gonna start listening to the album in its entirety, two quick things, the very German way of showing the number two. Well, you might be able to tell from me speaking, I'm still recovering from uh, a certain infection that I caught, yeah. And uh, I might have to mute myself here and there when I'm coughing, you know, when I'm doing this or this, then I'm coughing because... Yeah, yeah. And the other really important thing is, how will this work? It's quite easy, actually. I can't play the actual music in this video out of copyright reasons, you know, YouTube, copyright, content ID claims and everything, and Rammstein also claiming stuff here and there. But don't you worry at all, because there's an easy workaround. I'm gonna count you in for each consecutive song that we're gonna listen to so you can follow along. And you can also see where I'm at in the song, right? or down there. I'm also gonna be including certain information on screen while I'm listening to the song and I'm also gonna be talking over the songs here and there. I try not to do that too much, don't you worry guys, because I'm gonna give a little first impression review after each song and then we're gonna continue to the next one and of course at the end of this video there's a full album review. My first impression review, so to speak. So, without further ado, haven't listened to this except for Zeit and Zickzack, the two singles. So, whew. this is the album Zeit by Rammstein, and this is the opener song Armee der Tristen, Army of the Dreary Ones, if you will, translated quite literally. So, let's go, let's hit play in three, two, one, go. Okay, very electronic. And the choir, love it. Love the groove. Mm-hmm. Commit. Sort of has an old school Rammstein touch with the forefront electronics, I feel. I like that. But it's also modern Rammstein. I think I know what this is supposed to be about. Commit im Gleichschritt. <laughs> Commit im Gleichschritt. The verbalization and stressing is a bit different here out of, you know, poetic reasons, but... Uh... Mm. 
Nice. I love the hi-hat pattern. Very groovy. Marschieren im Gleichschritt gegen Glück. Interesting line. Okay. Armee der Tristen. To me, this sounds like a song about slash against people protesting against the government and co COVID rules and all that kind of stuff, you know, COVID laws, how to behave in quarantine. It's not the majority of society, because some people might get that impression, but it's not the case, that really heavily and loudly so protest against those things, which of course is their right to do, but Sometimes, you know, the problem is that people seem to less and less care about who else is going to those protests, protest marches and who else is joining them because there are some far-right people having joined those or that have joined those protest marches here and there. So that may be a commentary on that. Amida Tristan, a very, you know, pe pejorative kind of negative connotation to that towards, you know, or from the lyrical eye doesn't have to be, that is very important to keep in mind, guys, that doesn't have to be the opinion of Till and the band because you always have to distinguish between the singer and the lyricist and the lyrical eye they can be the same but they don't have to be the same I love the forefront electronic sounds here because it's very driven by electronic synth bass kind of beats, basically. The bass drum pattern is quite simplistic, but I don't mean that in a negative way because it works for the song and the groove. It builds the groove along with the playful hi-hat pattern there. So, love the, the tone of this. Um, the production is really cool, I think, once again. So, very Rammstein-like. Good opener thought-provoking opener, especially from my German point of view, because, you know, I don't know what the situation that I've just talked about is like in your country, in your region, in your culture. Maybe the term Armee could hint at the seemingly overwhelming feeling of many of those people that join those protest marches, thinking that they are the silent majority, even though they are not. Next up, the single Zeit and the first comeback song, so to speak. Very cool song. I have already listened to this one, but let's listen to it again in the context of this album. So, Zeit is going to be starting in 3, 2, 1. It's a star contrast to Amira Tristan, I love that. Because the chronology of those tracks is also very important when you compile an album, I think. That can ruin what otherwise might be a great album, but when the order of the song, the track listing seems off, you know, too many fast-paced song behind one another, that might destroy more than it helps. Sterben lebend in den Tod. Great line. Mm. 
I love this song. I think it's one of the most thought-provoking, philosophical songs Till has written to date, lyrically speaking especially. Yeah, definitely. And the music video is very touching as well, I feel. I've already made several videos about this song, so if you want to learn more about what this, the lyrics are about in specific, and the music video and how that, you know, plays with each other, Feel free to check that out in the end card. I love the subtle bass drum. It's very subtle. And the pad in the background, the synth pad. That glues everything together. And the soloist, the solo female singer in there, that adds so much to the atmosphere, I feel. Wow. Love this. This right here, this section, reminds me of Seemann. Because of the shredding guitar part, I guess. Ein jeder erkennt den perfekten Moment. Great line. Yeah. I love the more symphonic Rammstein, to be honest. The more modern. So I love this song. And now the shredding as well. Oh, okay. Just had an idea, gonna be talking about that in a few seconds. By the way. Love me some symphonics in there. The choir, you know. One thing that I would have loved if they had implemented that in there, but, you know, I don't mind that it's not in there, is if they had included more strings, like a real big orchestra in the last chorus, with long string parts, similar to Reise Reise, the title track of the album Reise Reise, for instance. What I just thought about, the ending, this doom, doom, staccato, like riffs, you would think that it the song would end after one of those staccato riff hits, you know, doom, 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 and then that's the end of the song. But since we don't know den perfect moment, the perfect moment, um, the song goes on. Maybe that is a a play with that idea that 
We don't know when the perfect moment to stop, the perfect moment to go is. Even though the lyrical eye says, and jeder erkennt den perfekten Moment, in the sense of, you know, we recognize magic moments when they have happened or when they are happening. We know, sometimes I have the same, you know, sometimes I, I meet with friends and we do something special and I know that I will remember that day for the rest of my life because it is so special and unique as well and therefore really precious. I just love this song. I think it's one of Rammstein's best ones, to be honest. I don't want to repeat what I just said in my other videos related to Zeit and the song, what, is, what it is about, the lyrics, the music video and all that kind of stuff. So if you want to check that out, feel free to do that. Let's continue with song number drei. Three, Schwarz, Schwarz, which means black, the color black, by Rammstein in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm, similar quality to the beginning of Zeit. Maybe a ballad? Gebote, die wir übergehen, kann im Dunkeln niemand sehen. Mhm. Okay, so this one seems to be it's about someone who is longing for the dark, the darkness. Trinker, Huren und Verschwörer sind den Schatten zugehörig. Fair enough. The melody reminds me of another song, to be honest. The chorus one. Trink das Schwarz in tiefen Zügen. Let yourself be, you know, or getting soaked in by the black. Das Schwarz. So this could be about someone who is lost to depression and dark thoughts and, you know, hopelessness, maybe. Not really glorifying that, but simply expressing what they might feel like, you know. And also how, I guess, society maybe doesn't see these people sometimes because they might be out in the black, not visible to the public at every time. Hmm, interesting instrumental choice there. 
Der Sonnentod ist mir Vergnügen. Interesting way to end the song. Okay, so... Someone who seems to be drinking something and the lyrical eye in the bridge also encouraged the the listener bas basically to drink because they said drink, you know, drink it, drink me, eat me, something like Alice in Wonderland maybe, like a little reference there. Okay, Schwarz bei Rammstein, it seems to be or it could be because of course all that is subject to interpretation, which is the strength, one of the strengths of lyrics and music that a thousand people can listen to the same song, the same one song, and might have 500 dif different interpretations. And that is so cool. There is no wrong and there is no right. Because even though you might have a different interpretation of a song that might even be different to what the lyricist had in mind when they wrote the song, that is legit as well. There is no wrong, there is no right, to be honest, you know? So to me, from my first listen experience here, to some degree the lyrical eye also seems to be enjoying being in the darkness. That is what I have gathered, like gotten from, especially listening closer to the, the last chorus right there. And I liked the uh, dense atmosphere in Schwarz, by the way, from the keys, first and foremost, because I think they are one of the most underrated parts, ingredients of the Rammstein sound, the modern Rammstein sound especially. Sometimes even if it's just like key pads playing in the background behind the guitars, they still help creating a dense atmosphere. And let's continue with the fourth song, Giftig, Poisonous or Venomous. And I'm gonna say it before the song's gonna start. I predict that this song might include and feature some form or variation, variant of the saying, die Dosis macht das Gift. The Dosis makes the poison, you know. Dr eating something that is potentially poisonous might only be very poisonous if you eat a lot of it. I could see Till using that phrase because every now and then he likes implementing German phrases but twisting them around a little bit. Made a video about that as well, by the way. So let's see. Let's listen to Giftig, Poisonous or Venomous in 3, 2, 1 and go. Could be up-tempo. Interesting keyboard sound. Very modern, dancey. Typical Rammstein guitar pattern. Gestochen als ich schlief und der Stachel steckt so tief. Du bist giftig. <lacht> Reverse Hill for the win. Love the drive of this one. It has a slight oriental feel to it, which fits because when you think of poisonous animals, you know, in the desert, for instance, scorpions and the like, yeah, 
Snakes? Love the little guitar accents there. Hmm. Nice. Okay, that was a good one. Another good one, I might add. Giftig. Didn't include the line I thought it may include. Fair enough. Wow, okay, that could be a catchy tune, to be honest. At first I was like, hmm, not the biggest fan of the chorus melody. I'm <coughs> sorry. And the... But the more you listen to it, and also, you know, consecutive choruses in this song, it's really catchy. It is really catchy. Interesting choice of keyboard sounds once again, Flake. Definitely. The bridge was very interesting, also lyrically speaking, because this song basically is about someone who gets poisoned and in various different ways. At the very end, there is a tongue that's getting inside and poisoning people, maybe in implying that love can be sort of a poison in some situations. The bridge was very interesting, as I've said before, because the lyrical eye basically describes how they feel in a poisonous state and delirious, so to speak. They see white light, but they sort of are not afraid. They are in a state of joy. From the new ones that I've listened to, maybe my favorite so far, but I like them all, don't get me wrong. I like when the band, and you notice that, you know, some people might say, okay, yeah, Rammstein make simple metal music, you know, danceable metal music, groovy metal music. Fair enough, but that doesn't mean anything because as long as the arrangements are clever, they've always made sure to introduce and implement certain details here and there. Whether it's the slightly oriental sounding, the singing in the chorus, for instance, which to me, when I listen to this song, I was reminded of the desert. I, I, I was thinking of the desert or like a jungle type of region. While sleeping you get bitten. Interesting. Interesting. And of course, I, I'm sure this song could be interpreted in many other ambiguous abstract ways. But uh, those are my first thoughts. Let's continue with song number 5, which is Zigzag, the German term for zigzag. A zigzag pattern, basically. Very interesting music video, if I may say so, and I may. Also heard the song before, like the song. The riff and also the tone of the guitar riff in the verses sort of reminds me of Los, the song Los by Rammstein, a very underrated Rammstein song, I think, from the album Reise Reise. I think it's also song number five, so maybe similarity going on there? Who knows? Let's listen to Zick Zack by Rammstein in drei. Zwei, eins, los. I love doing this album listening party reaction type of thing. I think I'm gonna do that in the future as well, here and there. Love this. Hope you do too. Hope you do too, yes. By the way, also analyze the lyrics to this song and the music video, basically. So if you want to check that out, feel free to do that. This one. Especially the guitar that is playing on here in the left speaker, left side.
I love the keyboards in this one, by the way. Ding, ding. Sieben Kilo Reiterhose. Ah. Still my favorite line in this song. Und Bauchfett in die Biotonne. Der Penis sieht jetzt wieder Sonne. Till. Rammstein have many great bridges in their songs. Very different, but still part of the song, sonically speaking. You notice that? Just like that, when they do that. For instance, also the one in Keine Lust, that is a perfect example. It feels part of the song, yet it's different. It adds a different touch. Yeah, some bass. Oliver Riedel. Love me playing some air drums here and there. That Nadelfaden Schere Licht part, for instance, is a good example of a line that reminds of a well-known German saying, which I've also tackled in my video about zack, zack, zick, mm, zick, zack. So if you want to learn more about that, you know what to do. The ending is also great. The little squeaky riff coming in right here. Love the squeaking riff at the, at the end there. Okay. Oop. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Zick zack. Yeah. To be honest, in terms of the order of the songs, atmosphere-wise, by the way, when I'm watching, looking here, I'm looking at this uh, from my perspective, just so you know. I could see fit Zigzag also being the third or fourth song. Maybe the third rather than the fourth, meaning in between Zeit and Schwarz, because to me, if I had compiled this album and had made the tracklist, the chrono chronology, cr chronic, uh, of the tracklists, I don't know if I had put Schwarz directly after Zeit, because they are similar in tone, they are similar in pace, they are similar in rather quiet, calm structure and quality, so maybe a more faster paced song like Zickzack might have fit there as well but that is just my personal you know thoughts on this i do like the the chronology of this though so it's a fun neat little song basically addressing how we perceive beauty beauty ideals which beauty ideals we have it also addresses certain aspects of self-reflection and self like body positivity uh, because the song, basically, and the music video, both are about dealing with one's own looks, beauty, the seeming or seemingly implied perception by others, and a seemingly felt or existing pressure from the society, from the public, from others toward oneself to always look young, even if you're not young anymore. 
age-wise. And especially when you're working, you know, in showbiz, musicians, actors, actresses, a certain urge and also maybe felt pressure to stay young all the time, how it may be better and fa more fair toward oneself and toward other people to self-reflect your own perception, how you perceive yourself, your own looks, you know, and uh, do you really need to have this plastic surgery getting done? Do you really have to get Botox, you know? But I've talked about that in my other video about the song's lyrics before, so if you want to check that out. And also uh, in my video reaction to Zig Zag, song number six, Okay. I'm really curious to see what this song might be about, because the title reminds me of another German rock type song by Farin Urlaub on his first solo album, Endlich Urlaub. Great album, by the way. Farin Urlaub is one of the three guys in the band Die Ärzte. Let's check it out. Let's listen to OK in 3, 2, 1, los. By the way, Germans also use the term OK. Lot of songs starting with keyboard licks. Ooh. <laughs> okay, not what I expected. Was sich liebt, das darf sich lecken. Okay. Ohne Kondom. So it's an abbreviation. Wow. I love the music. Great guitar, that, that, that. Great guitar sound, by the way. Love that one as well. The production is cool. <laughs> Man steckt, steckt nicht drin. Yeah. Heavy outro?
Okay, it's an abbreviation, as it turns out, in context of this song. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so musically speaking, the song is really cool, I think. Musically speaking, this one might be one of my favorites on this album so far. The long... Oh, no. Oh, no. Really stressing the vowels in those terms. Lyrically speaking, it seems to be about someone who enjoys life in a sexual, erotic way. Not really caring too much whether to use a condom or not. To be honest, I was kind of distracted, so I couldn't listen to all lyrics so directly on first listen. But that is what I got from this song. It's pretty much similar to sex on the previous album. Yeah, it's another sex song by Rammstein. Okay, sim similar to pussy, similar to sex, similar to, you know, what else is there? Lots of things. Du riechst so gut. Could count sort of as one as well, I guess. I definitely have to re-listen to this one later on. But first, let's move on to song number seven. Meine Tränen, my tears, and what this is about. Okay, okay, let's begin in drei, zwei, eins, los. Okay, this one starts with guitars, because what, from what I've noticed, many of the songs we've listened to so far have sort of started with keys here and there. Norman Bates wipes incoming. W wipes? Wipes. Vibes. Okay, well, kind of. Ich lebe noch immer bei Mama. Und bleibe wohl für immer. That basically says it all. But the mother doesn't seem to mind. Quite the opposite, in a way. Ein Mann weint nur, wenn seine Mutter stirbt. Also, the well-known German phrase that he just said there, der Klügere gibt nach. I love when Till sings this way. Doesn't do it always, but when he does, in Puppe, for instance, so strong, so expressive. Like the song. Also rather serious in terms of the topic. 
Gonna get to that in a second. This sort of reminds me of Ghost, this section. Okay. Oh, that play out a little bit. Okay. So, along with Zeit, maybe the most serious song so far. And the most intriguing to me personally in terms of the lyrics, because it tells of a boy, an old boy, meaning a grown man, still living with his mother. And... The mother seems to be sort of bossy and sort of control his life. She seems to be sort of his center point in life. He tries to be there for her and act, live as he thinks she would like him to and how she actually directly says what is right, what is wrong. You know, which way to live is right, which way to live is wrong. Because in the chorus, it goes something like, men only cry when their mother dies. It actually questions, or it seems to question, old role-like perceptions, gender-based role perceptions, or gender-based perceptions of people, and how to behave. Boys don't cry, boys always have to be strong, you know, that kind of stuff. Which is bullshit, of course, as we know today. Sorry for the explicit language, but it is what it is. So let's say it out loud. It's bullshit. And it's generalizing, patronizing. So in this song, it's basically matronizing. Context, it's basically the other way around. It's, it's patronizing in the way, or in the sense that the mother portrays maybe part of society that still thinks this reactionary or this old-fashioned way that, you know, Oh, you're a boy. Why are you crying? Something like that, you know? Also blaming the child for that, for showing emotions. So, wow, that is a very, very deep song, actually. And also a very important topic to talk about. Without further ado, let's move on to song number eight, Angst. Could imply that that might also be a sort of serious topic that they might be talking about. Maybe not. We'll see. Let's listen to Angst, song number eight, which means fear, by the way, in drei, zwei, eins, los. Okay. Almost sounds like do, but it's not, I know. You means do, by the way, in German. Mm-hmm. Das Böse kommt, wird nicht mehr gehen. Alle haben Angst vorm schwarzen Mann. Very ambiguous. Sadly. I love the bass sound in this. Gnarly, in a way.
Mm-hmm. Musically, this part, the section right here, and the beginning, sort of remind me of Mutter Rammstein era. Nice syncopation. Reverse till, okay. 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 This sort of is a, like semantically speaking, what it could be about. It could be a sister song to Amida Tristan in terms of topics. To me, this song is about what it says, actually. It's about fear and how irrational, how abstract, for lack of a better term, fear often is. You know, wer hat Angst vom schwarzen Mann? Who is the black man? Someone imaginative, someone that doesn't exist, you know. But we, there is something or someone that, that we are afraid of maybe even some people that we don't know and you let yourself control or be controlled by fear that doesn't help you that doesn't help anyone you don't control your life at that point anymore and you don't have a clear vision a clear sense of what reality is like in that situation when you know when you can't sleep because of so much fear that you might have which is also something the lyrical I addressed in the chorus of the song you know you you wake up soaking wet in your own sweat rhyme rhyme because you're so afraid of things and you don't know how to handle it you can't grasp it you can cope with that therefore because you don't know what you really are afraid of when you're caught in a web of fake news and exaggerations and false balancing in media and whatnot you know all that kind of stuff that might lead to irrational fears in people. And also fears that are rational. I mean, you know, a potential third world war-like scenario that some people surely are afraid of these times. This is a very thought-provoking song, to be honest. And I appreciate that. I like when lyrics make you think and reflect on things. By the way, you might have asked yourselves before if I will make distinct videos for each of these 11 new songs and the uh, simple answer is yes I will because I love this band I love the imagery in the lyrics I love how ambiguous many lyrics are how rich they are semantically speaking so and this channel is about the German language and culture so this is perfect okay now to the infamous song number nine which to me seemed like a really outstanding title in context of the album. I mean, I'm not surprised that Rammstein have a song that is called Dicke Titten, Thick Boobs, Thick Tits. That's the literal translation. You're welcome. So I'm really curious to find out what Dicke Titten is all about. Maybe it's a trick and the song isn't about what the title might suggest. So we'll find out. I could see that fit as well, that the band is playing with us listeners and us fans, you know. So let's listen to... I never thought I would say this, Dicke Titten. It's by Rammstein. Let's listen to it in... 3, 2, 1, los! What? The... F Is that Schlager metal coming in here? Wow. 
Where is this song leading me to? Okay. Are those horns in the background? Nice touch. But she has to have Dicky Titten, yeah. Uh. Wow. Ein feines Fräulein wäre gut. Ich bin auch gar nicht anspruchsvoll. That's true. This with the claps reminds me of uh, the precursor in Ausländer. But the the melody is great though. Sie muss nicht schön sein, sie muss nicht klug sein. Sie muss nur reich sein. Sie braucht mich auch gar nicht küssen. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> Once again, a quite explicit Rammstein song. And it is... I mean, it sounds strange when I say this right now, but you could interpret this song in a... also in a quite serious way. Here we have a man, the lyrical eye, who is so superficial and all he cares about, he doesn't care if the woman that he wants to have, he is single, old, you know, losing hair, living alone, and he wants to have a wife, a woman. In that sense, because that behavior might be sort of not only condescending toward women, of course, you could say, it might address toxic masculinity it can also get to a point i feel where it's not healthy anymore because you are you are not controlling your thoughts your desires anymore because the desires that you have control you and your life it's not really about love to be honest that's the point as well he doesn't care if that other person loves him he's just out for thick tits having thick tits available at all times, basically. In that sense, as strange as it may sound, I know, Dicke Titten by Rammstein could be interpreted as partially serious and addressing serious issues and problems. Maybe even mental problems here and there. So, yeah, that's my take on Dicke Titten by Rammstein. <laughs> and, uh, interesting. So, Let's continue with the second to last, the penultimate song, so to speak, Lügen, Lies. 
could also be linking back to Armida Tristan and angst topic wise maybe you know believing fake news to be the truth even though it isn't and to be sort of blinded by things maybe it is about that maybe not who knows let's check out lügen bei rammstein in 3 2 1 los harp die harfe nice ballad This very low till reminds me of Dalai Lama, for instance. Love that. Okay, similar topic to Zeit, actually. Wanted to the moment to not to end at all, to grasp the moment, to capture the moment forever. Sonntagscafé oder auch Kuchen und die Großmutter besuchen. Okay, and the big reveal in the chorus. Ich lüge und betrüge. Oh, some autotune. Interesting artistic choice. Und wer es glaubt, ist selber schuld. German phrase. Okay, wow. Niemand traut mir nicht mal ich. Wanna have more of them strings in the songs, please. I love that. Love Symphonic Rammstein. That is also one of the reasons why Reise Reise is one of my favorite Rammstein albums. Anyway, Lügen. Gotta be honest, at first I was a bit thrown off because of the autotune effect. I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of autotune in music. However, there are certain light forms of autotune that could sound nice here and there. It has to fit the context. That is what I'm talking about, the song. And it also has to add something unique to the song. Otherwise, I think it's useless. In this context right here, Lügen, 
A song about lying and lies and giving examples of lying, you know, especially in the beginning, you know, lying on the field, looking uh, at the stars and, you know, everlasting, promising everlasting love. And then the big reveal in the chorus, it's all lies. All I'm saying every day is lies, you know, and I'm aware that it's lies. That is an important point here because I feel many people in other parts of social media and stuff, they might retweet, share things here and there, believing that it's a fact, it's the truth, even though it isn't and they don't know because they haven't checked and reflected on that. The autotune, I grew to like it immediately, to be honest, especially in the second verse. Great, great extent how at first there was no autotune and then it slowly creeped in there and then it built and the rest at the end of the verse, it was pure autotune. Of course, it's exaggerated here. Once again, the same thing that happened in ZigZag, the, the stylistic device of exaggeration. People might you know, opposed to that and not like that because of that. But that being so exaggerated is the point. You know, it, it highlights how ridiculous that is. And sad but true, we're gonna be listening to the last song on the album, Adieu, a song many Rammstein fans might be a bit afraid of because that might indicate, at least in their minds, that it might be the end for the band. I don't know about that. Last song of of Zeit by Rammstein, adieu, which means goodbye in French. The German equivalent is Tschüss. So let's check it out in 3, 2, 1, los. Love the mixture of synths and the piano. Very... Mm, how should I put it? Memorable. Nice. Sogar die Sonne wird verglühen. Der Tod zieht alles zu sich hin. Adieu, goodbye, auf Wiedersehen, den letzten Weg musst du alleine gehen. Die Zeit mit dir war schön. Oh, nice. Fleisch vergeht, Geist wird sich heben. Am Ende bist du ganz allein, doch wir werden bei dir sein. Sounds contradicting, but it isn't, when you think about it. Love that.
Oh, ending on a high note though. <laughs> so, ein letztes Lied, ein letzter Kuss, kein Wunder wird geschehen. Hmm. Gotta be honest with you guys. Those of you that have thought that this could be a love letter, not like a love letter to the fans, but a love letter in the sense of saying goodbye, closing a chapter, it could be understood like that. And it could be that, the final song, an ode to the fans, an ode to their career, themselves, as a band, Rammstein. Especially the chorus reminded me of Reise Reise, Rammstein era, so it could certainly fit on that album as well. It's a typical last song for this album, and the, the only possible perfect last song, maybe apart from the title track Zeit. It is very similar to Zeit in its topic, you know. Time has passed, even though time goes on, Sometimes it's also time to stop in time. It's another thought-provoking, cool song, which is sort of bittersweet from a fan's perspective. Once again, doesn't have to mean anything, of course, but it could. It very well could, judging from the lyrics alone and how you could interpret them. It could be, doesn't have to be though. Maybe it's just a goodbye for the album. The album is over, you know. Thanks for having listened to the album and thanks for having followed us so far. That doesn't mean that it's gonna end here, but you know, adieu to the past, basically. Goodbye to the past, let's look forward, let's look into the future, let's look what we can do, what we haven't done so far. You know, all those things, all those thoughts. Cool song though, um, definitely cool song, albeit very thought-provoking. Okay, so overall, Zeit by Rammstein. 44 minutes and 10 seconds. It's not too short though, and it's not too long. It has a good length. Standout songs for me personally would be Zeit, Giftig, Meine Tränen, Angst, Lügen and Adieu. Even though I like all songs, to be honest. I couldn't say which song I like the least so far after having listened to it once. I have to repeat that here. Some songs might be late bloomers. That's, that's just the case. You know, with many progressive bands I've had that over the years, that when I listened to their new albums for the first time, I wasn't really that much into it. But because I, I still noticed that there is something that makes you want to listen to the song again and again and again, even though you might not have been able to appreciate the song in its entirety and all its facets from the first listen. From what I can say from my first listen, to be honest, I think it's a good album. It might even be a bit heavier than the previous album. It had more surprising moments in it than the last one had, to be honest. Uh, not just in terms of the lyrics, but also in terms of sonic choices, uh, especially in the realm of keyboard sounds. <laughs> it's a very, very, very loose concept running through the songs, you could say, in terms of, you know, Zeit and life and facets of life, you know, expectations of oneself and expectations from others toward oneself, making good use of the day, certain examples of not making good use of the day. I think OK might be the song where my appreciation for the music and how I perceive the lyrics, how relevant and important and funny and whatever I perceive the lyrics might diverge the most, you know? Because I love the music, the song's topic though, you know, having sex without a condom and all that kind of stuff, all those implications. Is that a song that I would listen to out loud, on speakers, you know, open windows, blasting it? Probably not. Same applies to Dicka Titten, even though, you know, that one has a higher standing for me personally. Because even though it has such a ridiculous title, and willingly ridiculous and exaggerated lyrics, 
there's still an underlying theme to it that you could interpret as something that is a bit more substantial, fundamental, to me at least, I don't know. Um, what do you guys think? What do you think of the album? Let me know in the comments, of course. Hope you enjoyed this first edition of a Get German with Vlog Dave album listening party, so to speak, and a full album reaction. That's what it is and was. Has been, will always be, because Zeit is eternal. Time goes on. Good album. Time will tell. <laughs> Coming back to time and Zeit. Time will tell if this album, Zeit, might be among the best Rammstein albums because it's impossible to say that after one listen. I feel, and pe when people do that, I think it's sort of dishonest toward the artist. You can't grasp every single detail and nuance. Looking forward to listening to it more and more and more, again and again and again. Hope you will watch my Rammstein videos more and more and more and again and again and again as well. I've made over 70 Rammstein related videos so far. As I've said before, I'm also gonna make a video for each song on this album and go more in depth in terms of what the lyrics are all about and what makes them special, linguistically speaking. Leave a like, that is greatly appreciated, that helps a lot, that helps with the algorithm and of course also make sure to share this video. Thanks again for watching everyone and for sticking by, for standing by to the end, that is greatly appreciated, can't be taken for granted, so thanks. I'm your Vlog Dave, tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal. Bye bye.